you know, sometimes when I look around and I see where I now get to work, I really realize that it's those tiny decisions that you make on a daily basis that really lead to creating a magical life. So those one degree course corrections that move you towards fun and away from obligation. There were so many points in my life where <clears throat> you can contract or you can expand. And I realized the more in those moments you can expand, expand, expand to include more and more and more in your body, the more your life can expand. And you know, there are times where you have to draw in, you have to, you know, do what I call go into the womb and from there be able to expand out. And I really believe that that has been the way to create the life that you want. So I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, I've realized over time that I really love working from home. And I actually, thanks to COVID, I really enjoy working online. So how can I get my life to move more in that direction? And why do I like that? Because I get to take breaks. I can do things around the house at the same time. Um, I can work with my natural body rhythms. Who ever said Monday to Friday, nine to five with two days off? Well, whoever said that? Whoever made up that rule? And I know there's reasons why in history, but you can change that now because my personal body clock is getting up 536. I absolutely love the sunrise. I love the peace and quiet of the morning to, to walk. Sometimes I swim. I absolutely do all my um, routines, my magical rituals in the morning to open up my day and open up, open up my body. And, <clears throat> and then the morning is my productive time. And then after 12 or one, I like to rest and then I become more active in the evening. That is my natural body clock. But to get to these points, there obviously is a lot of letting go. There's a lot of letting go of conditioning and rules and beliefs that we have been born into that need to be released. So that's my recipe for how you create a magical life.